Hey guys, Brad here at E3 2015. I just got through playing Star Wars Battlefront. I'm here with my friend Christopher Davis, who That's also me. played some Star Wars Battlefront. What did you think, homie? This is shaping up pretty damn good, it, I gotta say. It looks beautiful. It really does. It looks really good. And uh, it's Star Warsy, man. Like, like when I shot my blaster and I threw a thermal detonator and I jetpacked up, but it wasn't like jetpacks you see in most games. It, it was like a, it was like a huge fucking boost. Yeah, it's, it's not like an analog jetpack. It's just you press a button and you're just dashed up and forward. So it was just the Star Wars sound effects. That AT, AT came, or the S ATST came out. Yeah, I, dude, I'm kind of fanboyed out a little bit. I'm, 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 I'm really in that this. way. Uh, the, the variety of enemies that we fought. Uh, just we both played the survival mode. Yes, it's like horde mode. It's it's basically a horde mode. It's kind of like a, in in a way, kind of reminds me of a Mass Effect 3's multiplayer, which yeah. is a horde mode. But it, it seemed pretty simplistic. It is. Yeah, I, I don't know if you could set up encampments or whatnot. Well, there were a couple things that you could do in the game. So uh, it was way based. So 15 ways. We only got to play six, uh, but every three ways it seemed to introduce something new. Like uh, when we got to the, when I was playing with a guy, we got to the third wave. It spawned an escape pod. And yes, if you, we if you went over the escape body and you defend it for a certain amount of time, uh, it unlocked like special abilities for you, like a thermal detonator yes. or uh, extra power ups or something like that. I got that. that. Uh, did you play a lot of the, the old Battlefront games? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, I will say this game seems a lot, it, it's a lot like, it feels a lot like Battlefield. It is very Battlefieldish. And, which is good, you know, but there are some fans out there, like I know J52 played like hundreds of hours of Star Wars Battlefront. In the second one, and he he was in love with the janky mechanics of that game. This doesn't really feel all that different. No, you know I, I feel like the the Star Wars. Well, you know, it's got it's it's Battlefield with the sexy ass Star Wars skin. I, I guess the real difference is going to come down to you know playing as heroes, obviously, because that's not very fucking Battlefield. Yeah, um, that's supposed to be a mode in and of itself, from what I understand. But I wouldn't be surprised if that ended up being a uh, like within the forty-player battles, which yeah. are in, which we didn't get to play, unfortunately, because everybody and their dog wants to do that. I but can't say enough how good this game looks. Maybe it's just because the last thing I played was Star Fox, but Jesus Christ, this thing looked pretty. I mean, it, oh my god! I mean, everybody was questioning, you know, that that gameplay trailer we got a few months ago, whether that was worth it or not, whether that was actual gameplay. It fucking is. I have a question for you, yeah. Chris. You play a lot of Battlefield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played a lot of Battlefield back in the day, I guess. Maybe the not. The Bad Company era? Maybe not. Yeah, the Bad Company era. Yeah. Exactly. Great games, by the way. Very good. Um, controlling vehicles, especially flying ones, was hard. I, I mean, I didn't get into any flying vehicles. Do you think that that's going to be an issue with Battlefront? I don't, uh, with I don't Battle think Front? it will. Um, I mean, jets are... You can... You can get around in a jet in a battlefield game. These aren't jets. This is a TIE fighter. Uh, this is a TIE fighter in an X-Wing. Yeah, it, it'll do that. Um, I don't think it'll be an issue because the way they're doing the level design, I mean, granted, I wasn't able to parse out whether the survival maps are part of the multiplayer, uh, the main multiplayer maps or not, but if those canyons that they've been advertising or anything, this, yes. I would assume that if the X-Wing can easily maneuver in now that, that the controls aren't that hard. Hopefully. Well, we, we need to try... The uh, multiplayer demo, so yeah. getting some goddamn tie fighters. But I mean, the the AT the AT AT uh, is taking them out with the uh, the speeders. I mean, that goes out to the traditional uh, circle around them view that you see in like yeah. Shadows of the Empire. Was, and was there like any that. vehicles in your demo? Uh, no, there weren't, except yeah. for the ATST. But did, did you ride it? No, I didn't get to it, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that demo was like, a little lame. But yeah. but the game itself seems pretty great. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Any final words, Chris? I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna buy it. Yeah, this. we this, <laughs> probably just, gonna buy it. It looks it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I wanna see more of it. I wanna get a taste for the forty player battles, you know, the scale to maps and things like that. But it is very much battlefield with a Star Wars skin, and that's not a bad thing at all. Nope. It's very good actually. Anyways, uh, I guess that's it. If for more videos, interviews, impressions, just crazy things at E3 2015, go to fourplayernetwork.com. Thank you.